So we have a 2005 Ford Excursion with a six liter diesel, of course. Uh, came in with a misfire and it's smoking. The smoke is fuel smoke. So it shows cylinder number eight misfiring. Um, obviously the injector tip is leaking or maybe has a crack in it. It does have a slight strain on the starter when you're cranking it in the cranking cadence. You can hear the starter you know, slow down when it hits that cylinder. So it is definitely leaking fuel into there because it's hydrolocking a little bit. So what we're going to do is uh, get in there, pull that injector out, and then I'm going to take my camera and stick it down in the hole and see if I can find any damage because the danger there is if you continue to drive them when they're smoking like that is, you know, you're going to melt a piston. So uh, it'll be pretty obvious when I pull the injector out because what happens is that aluminum as it sloughs off of the piston will get on the tip of the injector. So when I pull it out, I'll be able to feel, you know, it'll feel like sand, basically grit. And uh, the problem with sticking a camera down there is you can't really move it around very much. And the damage generally happens on the bottom. And, you know, if I can't get a wide enough view to be able to see any damage, then, uh, you know, I might have to pull the head off because they'll run like that. They won't run when they have a hole torched in them, but they'll still run and they'll still have a little bit of compression when they, you know, when the top ring showing like that. I've seen that a lot. But uh, so anyway, we're going to pull this apart and uh, pop that injector out of there and see if we have any damage. And if not, we'll evaluate the rest of the injectors after we throw an injector in there and uh, kind of go from there. This is also getting an oil cooler because he said his uh, temperature biases were off uh, 15 degrees higher on the oil temperature when he's going down the road, you know, with no load. So I'm sure the oil cooler is plugged. So the other thing it's doing too is I noticed it had a, an extended crank when it's cold. So probably the first thing I'll do is I'll air test it and see if I can hear a leak in there before I even tear it apart. That way I know when I'm doing the oil cooler, I can go in and look at the, you know, make sure the snap to connect fitting on the, on the the uh, high pressure oil pump isn't leaking or the oil pump itself isn't leaking or something wrong with the IPR or we don't have a leak at an injector seal or a dummy plug or a standpipe. So going to get going on that and uh, we'll see what the results are.